What are the four most common reasons a calibration is not completed on a vehicle? We're going to find out next. <laughs> When asking a shop why a calibration was not completed as needed, the response usually falls into one of four categories. I did not know, I did not plan, I did not need to do it, or the insurer won't pay for it. Category one, I did not know. There are several options out there for identifying features that may need initializations or calibrations. There are companies you can send information to who will tell you what features are on a vehicle. You may have an OE scan tool that can read all the modules and identify which feature is on the vehicle you're riding. Another option is to physically examine the vehicle for cameras or sensors to identify which feature is on the vehicle. This includes looking at the steering wheel or dash for indicators of the electronic features. The fix for category one, engage a third party that can identify the vehicle's ADAS systems and if a calibration is necessary. Or, Train your people and confirm that they've identified all the ADAS systems with a visual inspection and research the manufacturer's procedures and documented the estimate accordingly. Category two, I did not plan. This one relates to category one very closely with one difference. Somebody forgot to add a calibration or initialization to the workflow process and or repair order. The battle to maintain cycle time and promised delivery dates has added a level of stress to the entire workforce. KPIs and CSI reports force a rush to deliver at all costs. By the time the mistake or missed process is realized, the vehicle is in the wash bay and we're now trying to figure out in the wash bay why something is not working or calibrations are not complete. Planning and communication is a big factor in this category. As a manager, are you asking when the calibrations are scheduled? Category three, I did not need to. If the repair procedures call for the repair to be completed with a validation process, such as a calibration, do it. It really is that simple. Category four, the insurer won't pay for it. This is almost not worth mentioning. The insurer not paying for something is never an excuse not to do it, especially when lives are at stake and you hold all the liability. And to be fair, I know of no insurer who will not pay for safety system calibrations when they're presented appropriately. The industry is missing a great deal of procedures that should be completed. You see the data all around us. The reality is that we need to educate and plan for all the new repair processes. By either employing a third party or a strategy of education and planning the repairs, you can increase revenue and reduce your chance of missing something critical to the safety of the family that trusted the name on your building. You have to know what you need to do to repair that vehicle. Do not use your customers as crash test dummies. The nine-year-old child in the backseat of that vehicle depends on you. I didn't know will not be an excuse. They'll understand when something goes wrong. I'm Jason Stahl, thanks for watching.